I'm getting a lot of questions as to what that was I was using on my legs the other day. See, when I was in Bermuda, my mind told me I was 21, but my body reminded me I was 33 and had me laid on that table yesterday. Also, public service announcement, if you're traveling west on 183 in Dallas, they're doing construction, and the freeway is ridiculously raggedy. I had a bump so hard, I screamed out to Jesus, the Lord, and the Holy Spirit. Be careful. And speaking of raggedy, or ridiculously raggedy at that, look at my fingernails. You can tell how my week is going, or pretty much my month by my finger. Look at this. This is not a design. This is not a design. Just haven't had time. My toes are worse. I can't even show them on camera. Yes. What is today? My birthday. It's your birthday, and how old are you? Four. Four? Are you having a party? What yeah. kind of party? Garbage truck. <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair lately, and I don't want to neglect you guys asking, so I'm tagging them in this video below. Enjoy! It's Miss Vena D coming to you all from Vena Team at News. So, you know, in the last episode, I did Brian and Rachel were just doing big things, amazing things. And Rachel was also in, you know, Bermuda and having an amazing time. And I also showed a video of her coming back. You know, um, since being back from Bermuda, she's been doing some advertising on her page. She posted this green tea product on her page. And I think I've seen this um, before. This is not her first time advertising this product, but this is what she was up to. And go ahead, and I'm gonna be quiet for a few seconds and let you guys read the caption, just in case you're interested. Because you know what? In as much as it's an ad, there are a lot of people that ask um, Rachel about her skincare routine, to her how she's so beautiful, she looks youthful and all of that. So if you're interested, in knowing what Rachel used, then um, I'm gonna go ahead here and put the caption on the screen and let you guys you know read it and I'll be right back.
Okay, perfect. And you also get 25% off. So um, that's the most recent post on the page. After that, um, she posted this. I mean, she's just over here promoting. Get your coins, girl. She got in the tub, of course. Okay. She's basically just saying that she's reminiscing, being in bathing suits, being on the beach, having an amazing time because no one is getting in a bathtub in the bathing suits. It's just not going to happen. But, you know, she had to find a way to get her promo out there. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Like I said, she just had to get her promo out there. And But, you know, people, people take every little tiny thing so seriously. This person left a comment, girl, I love you, but why are you bathing in a swimsuit? And she just responded, come on, it's, it's a cool shot for the gram. Exactly. She was simply just doing it for the gram. <laughs> and that's that. Um, after that comment, Rachel posted, you know, this beautiful picture. The water is just, oh, amazing in the background. She's smiling. She looks great. She looks healthy. I may have found my happy place. And basically, this is like her last promotion for the company revolve that you know took them out there and all of that so let's and then of course i love how brian and rachel are being very smart about keeping their face out there keeping themselves on tv keeping the public interest because in as much as yes rachel still works as she saw from the little videos she's still practicing law but you know a dream job would be something like first tick and she was on there for an entire week Brian is working, doing great. You know, his goal is to open his practice in LA, Miami, and, and Dallas. But right now, you know, he does have one there, but he's working out of some, you know, another practice, but he's looking forward to opening his own and I'm sure 100% he can do it. But with their new lifestyle, I completely understand wanting to be in front of the camera and all of that. And you know, people said that, you know, they were going to be irrelevant and no one was going to care. Ari season was so boring. Um, <laughs> and the excitement happened in the end. Poor Becca, you know, her season is boring as heck. And the, I mean, they said they couldn't wait for that black bachelorette to disappear and never be seen again. They couldn't wait for the new bachelorette and... Oh my god, they're so happy with that race itself. And then this is all oh, this is all you see. I'm wondering how many times she's going to excuse herself. This has been my least favorite season. I'm struggling to make it all the way through the episodes. Not a fan of Becca, and I've never seen the season where they talk about their ex so much. I feel like all they ever so is do or show this person meant is talk about Ari. She's already shared shared some more and overshared about Ari with the guys. Let's move on already. Hoping the bachelor will be better. I was thinking the same thing. Every episode she mentions Ari. Don't think she's over it yet. It's not as though they were together for years. Majority of the time was spent while he was dating everyone. I do hope she finds happiness. She is articulate and likable. Before I read the rest, I'm, of course, you guys are probably reading. Isn't that what I said? I said that for Becca to have been so devastated and wanted America to be like, oh, poor Becca, and for her to be so ready to jump right back in. My point was, most of those girls went there for the other guy. But had to suck it up because it was Ari. And then some of them were just like, you know what? I'm here for love. So although it's not the guy that I came for, I'm just going to keep an open mind and go ahead and date the person that is in front of me. You know, but most of them were not there for Ari anyways. But it's interesting that, you know, the comments they were making, they couldn't wait for Rachel to disappear and now 
then their bachelor Brett is struggling to even stay afloat oh my gosh let's see what else thank you i know it had to hurt what Irie did but it's done to people every day and i don't feel like she's over it and i'm tired of people bashing Irie. i agree and she keeps saying my last relationship didn't have honesty yeah it did Ari was pretty honest when he told you he didn't love you and actually loved Laura instead. <laughs> I'm over it and ready for paradise. <laughs> I don't know. Jojo talked about Ben a lot. So much that someone made a montage of it. Very true. He's even He even was honest and told her he wanted to make contact with Lauren before telling her he was still in love with, La- with her. And couldn't make those feelings go away. Oh, so over. I totally agree. I agree. Agreed. <laughs> she cried over Ari in almost every episode. And in every episode, she's been frustrated. Like, get a grip, woman. She definitely wasn't emotionally ready to move on from Ari. Whoever this poor guy is will most probably be a rebound. Remember, she came on to The Bachelor after just breaking up with her boyfriend. Maybe that's how she rose. It's so true. I'm sick of hearing about Ari. Agree. This was the first season I didn't watch and I've been watching since Trista. So disappointing. Glad it's finally over. Harry broke up with her in January. Then she started filming her season in March. A couple of weeks after the Irish stuff aired and she was able to actually talk to people about what had happened. So I don't see it as she needs to move on because we're seeing stuff that was filmed months ago. I'm sure she's over it now, but it had just happened when they filmed stuff. Okay, I mean, it's fair. It makes sense. It's true. But still, you know, girl, let it go. <laughs> Most boring season ever. Ooh. This season has been the most boring of them all. Oof. How about you just go straight to the finale and start Bachelor in Paradise already? Hashtag boring. And who is ready for Irie's second season? Shoot, I mean Becca's season to be over with. What a snooze fest. This was hands down the worst season. Stopped watching weeks ago. With all of the snooze fest going on, Rachel and Brian are still out there. (laughs) People still care. They're still doing interviews. They're still on TV and all of that. And even if the Bachelor, the Bachelor right was an exciting situation and the ratings was, ratings was up. There's no one in that franchise that can dim the light. I mean, when you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? So she did amazing on widening out. I love, I just love all of her segments. And for someone who don't rap and for them to put you on a spot like that, uh, in as much as she went through rehearsal and all of that, she's been doing great. You know, her choreographer, her choreography was on point for lip sync battle, and her rapping skills and everything was on point for widening out. So shout out to Rachel, and of course, you know Brian is always there to support her. I love how, in as much as he's a chill, laid back, I'm gonna fall back and let you do your thing type of dude. I love how. Yet, he's still always there to support her. And she always finds ways to incorporate him where he doesn't feel left behind. Where it's just like, my girl is out here doing her thing and I'm left behind. So, she didn't have to bring him on stage at Lip Sync Battle, but she did. She didn't have to put him on camera and incorporate him in her rap, but she did on Wild and Out. So, I love how... They work as a team. I love their dynamics. So kudos to Brian and Rachel. Now, you read the title, so we're going to get into that real quick. But I want to read a quick excerpt from a People Magazine um, interview. I'm not reading the whole thing. I've already said this over and over again. So this right here is no shocker. 
if Brian and Rachel wanted to get married on their own time, they would have been married a while ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, Rachel just, they just feel like, let me go ahead and read the quote. I don't want to say it for them, okay? Um, basically, the People magazine title, Bachelorettes Rachel, Lindsay, and Brian Abastello say they are waiting to hear about a TV wedding. Since getting engaged last year on The Bachelorette, Rachel, Lindsay, and Brian Abastello have said they want to tie the knot sooner rather than later, and that hasn't changed. We, quote, we want to get married as soon as possible. Abasolo told people on Sunday at the Will You Accept This Real Smoothie Charity event to benefit Paul Works at Raw Junkies in Studio City, California, we are just waiting on certain things. The couple said they are working with ABC to plan a possible televised wedding special. Well, there you have it. We are just waiting to hear from the show, said Abasolo. There's, there are just so many engaged couples from the show in front of us. Technically, we don't have to wait and we really don't care if the wedding is on TV but we feel like we owe it to the fans that follow us. We owe it to the fans that followed us on the show to give them that. Rachel is basically looking for closure. You know, we want you guys to see how the story ends. So for those of you who were concerned and all of that, it's ABC. They want to get married on TV. They're being honest about it. They're just waiting for ABC. It's not about who's in line because the people who are in line before Brian and Rachel have said over and over again that they're not desperately trying to rush into a marriage. They're fine. So if Jojo is not ready to get married and the other people's not ready to get married but Brian and Rachel are, then the network should have no problem going, you know, with them. But eventually you know Rachel talking about she want to start having kids you know next year all of that so eventually if the network keeps dragging things along you know someone made a comment that ABC intentionally do things like that because they're hoping a couple is going to break up and then they don't have to pay for a wedding which is so sad if that's the mindset but I'm I'm 100% positive that if ABC keep dragging their foot that Brian and Rachel will go ahead and do their wedding themselves Rachel have been running around with a wedding something that looks like a wedding band on her hand so a lot of people assume that they were already married and it's the eloped because Rachel been saying it over and over again if I could elope with this guy and do it I would do it but our parents would kill us because you know it's their first and only wedding so they want to make sure it's you know perfect and special and all of that but she's been running around this band so people just assume that they were already married okay also a lot of you have been asking about this ring that i've been wearing underneath my engagement ring that's upside down and my nails are still the same don't talk about me it's a tory birch band i wear it because i love the contrast of the gold and the ring And they were hiding it, you know, from the public. So Rachel went ahead and posted this video right here, basically shutting that down that she's not married. She just loved the color contrast because I too was about to slide in her DM and be like, okay, girl, you know, spill the tea. What did we miss? <laughs> but anyways, that's it. Um, they're not married yet. They're waiting to get married. And I'm wishing Brian and Rachel nothing but the best my friend and loves i'm wishing you all um an amazing amazing day thank you all for over 14k subscribers wow that's just amazing so thank you all for the love and support i really when i say this i'm not trying to sound robotic i said the end of every video but i really do love and appreciate every single one of you all of the love and support you've shown me and the channel thank you so much man i appreciate you guys and i'm going to go ahead and and hit my friend i love if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a 
thumbs up. Also, turn on your notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. And remember to always have a God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.